Mode set. Executing. What's up gamers, it's your boy CDROM 1019 welcome back to the Curse of Monkey Island. Okay, so when last left off, we are back at the Carnival of the Damned. Uh, LeChuck has caught us, has taken a lane, has trapped us in this ride, and we're about to engage in a nice lengthy discussion about his ideas and his plans and just catch up on a little bit of backstory while we're at it. Let's get to it. That be well spoken, pet. But save your breath, lass. You'll be needing it for when you scream, I do. Where, where are we? Don't you be remembering this place, Freefoot. It was not long ago that I trapped you here to suffer tortures most foul. Wait, I can remember. I've seen this place before. It's some terrible nightmare. It was no mere nightmare, Guybrush. Search your feelings. <laughs> you know it to be true. Oh no. It can't be. But it is. This is the Carnival of the Damned. I, the Carnival of the Damned. You fiend, why have you brought us here? There be two reasons, you pathetic privateer. I be intended to torture and kill ye. And I'll be given Elaine a treasure. Ah, you're wasting your time, LeChuck. Elaine's love can't be bought. Ah, but this be a very special treasure. This be the fabled treasure of Big Whoop. Big Whoop? Aye, the very pirate treasure you were searching for before I caught up with you. Okay, well, what's so special about it? I thought I found it, but it was just a lie. What's so special about the treasure of Big Whoop? Isn't it just like any other pirate treasure? I see. Ye do not yet know the dreadful power that be Big Whoop. I guess not. Quake in fear, Threepwood. But I tell thee that Big Whoop be a damned portal to a demon netherworld. Okay. The treasures of Big Whoop be the very gates of hell themselves. Yay. So, Big Whoop was always a lie. It was always a portal to, uh... It's always a portal of the dam to hell. All right. Uh... But how will Big Whoop make Elaine love you? Elaine shall pass through the hoary gates of Big Whoop, just as I once did, down to the inky blackness of the infernal nether regions. For you see, Big Whoop gives those who pass through it the greatest gift of all, immortality. But at what cost? Cost? <laughs> <laughs> Granted, the people may find me a bit unapproachable now, and the smell does take a while to get used to, but it'd be worth everything now that I have the power to make Elaine love me. Okay, if you kill her... But if you kill Elaine, won't she hate you even more? Aye, at first. But soon she'll be understanding what a grand gift eternal life be. And besides... The dating pool will be surprisingly small when you're the living dead. She'll just have to give me another chance. Okay, but why the park? This whole amusement park, why? The Big Whoop Carnival was my most brilliant idea. Once I had the power of Big Whoop at my command, I could make Elaine mine at last. I see. But again, why an amusement park? I'll be getting to that. I knew Elaine would need a little coaxing, and that I'd be needing an army. A horrible army of the undead. Okay, but why an amusement park? Are you going to let me finish? I'm not talking just to hear myself talk, you know. You're right. I've been rude. Please, go on. Everyone knows that the life of a seaman is a long, hard, lonely one. Sailors spend months longing for just a few days' leave. And you know what they're looking for as soon as they get into port. Uh... Why, um... A family-oriented fun park! Oh, that. <laughs> of course. They come to take a ride on the giant roller coaster, the Great Monkey Mountain. 
They reach the top of the highest peak, and then hands in the air, screaming like monkeys. They plunge down the slope into a great stream of lava. That doesn't sound the least bit fun. Aye, it's not. In fact, it's downright unpleasant. But when they reach the other side, they're fitting warriors for my skeletal army of the damned. Hmm, okay. How did you find Big Whoop? That'd be a long story. Are you sure you want to hear it? Does the torture start after we're done talking here? Aye. Go on, then. Back <laughs> when I were alive, Elaine despised me. No. No, 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 it's true. I can see that now. She didn't like me at all. But I were determined to prove me worth to her, you see. So, I set sail to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. Okay, and what is the secret? What is the secret of Monkey Island? The secret of Monkey Island. I could tell you, but I'd rather make you guess. Um. Then <laughs> Rosebud is a sled? Uh. The sequel can never be as good as the original? That a sequel can never be as good as the original? Lies! Filthy, dirty lies! No, it goes much deeper than that. It's an ancient secret, closely guarded uh, by the natives and uh, pirates who happen to... You don't even know the secret of Monkey Island, do you? No, not really. All right, then. <laughs> Let's get on with your story. A few <clears throat> days after setting sail, my ship was caught in a terrible typhoon and was torn apart. I would have drowned. But some friendly sharks found me and set me ashore on Blood Island. There I was, marooned, with no hope of winning Elaine's heart. I thought me luck had run out. But one day, a ship made port at Blood Island. Twas the ship of one Captain Marley, Elaine's own grandfather. I struck up a conversation with Rum Rogers Sr., first mate on the ship. And for the price of a few drinks, I learned that they had the map to the legendary treasure of Big Whoop. Although I had no ship and no money. Hold on. Uh, okay. Does this go on for much longer? Although I had no ship and no money, I planned to beat Marley's crew to the treasure and take it for myself. I didn't have the money to buy a new ship, but I still had my greatest asset. <laughs> okay. The ability to kill bugs just by breathing? But I still had my greatest asset. That uh, indefinable Machuck charm. One of the rich young debutantes on Blood Island was helpless against it. After a week with me, she would have followed me to the grave. Unfortunately for her, she didn't get the chance. I pried the diamond from her family's engagement ring and sold it to some cutthroat smugglers for the cost of a new ship. Yeah, that's how he got the diamond. You scoundrel! Hm, I've been called worse. With me new ship, I easily overtook Marley's crew and beat them to Big Whoop, which just so happened to be here on Monkey Island. Okay. Um. What happened, what happened to the crew? To Captain Marley and his crew. Their ship arrived at Monkey Island a half hour after mine, but they were too late to stop me from claiming me prize, and they watched me pass through the portal of Big Whoop. Craven cowards that they were, the power of what they saw overwhelmed them. They fled the island in terror. Marley tore his treasure map into four pieces and gathered his crew around him. There was Rum Rogers Sr., the first mate, Rap Scallion, the cook, and young Lindy, the cabin boy. Marley gave each a piece of the map, keeping one for himself. They promised to guard those map pieces with their lives. I saw to it that they kept their promise. They were the only people alive to know about Big Whoop. 
Except that I got the pieces somehow. What happened to Rum Rogers Sr.? He was taking a bath in his cabin near Fat Island. Drinking rum and eating toast, as he always did while bathing. <laughs> when the toaster mysteriously fell into the tub with him. Uh-huh. Shocking. His son inherited the map piece, but was too much of a drunkard to understand its importance. Oh, I was talking to Rogers Jr. Okay. And what about Rapscallion? What happened to Rapscallion, the cook? Rapscallion died in a flash fire in his weenie hut on Scab Island. That's right. I brought him back to life with a voodoo spell. I remember it so vividly. Guybrush. <laughs> Guybrush. Oh, I'm sorry. I was miles away. What were you saying? I knew about Rap's absent-minded tendency to leave his gas burners on. So I arranged for a fully lit cake to be delivered to him on his 35th birthday. <laughs> you can hear the explosion as far as Booty Island. That's horrible. Steaming weenie indeed. <laughs> and Lindy? What became of young Lindy, the cabin boy? Fearing for his life, he came to me and begged for mercy. In return for not revealing the location of Big Whoop, I let him live. As a sign of me gratitude, I gave him a fortune which he used to build a successful advertising firm. Once he had grown accustomed to his wealthy lifestyle, I returned to collect me debt. I delivered to him an account so demonically ill-conceived that it was doomed to fail. Gangrene and honey. Within a month, he was penniless and insane, a broken man. He sold everything he owned and got so desperate, he fell in with a traveling circus. He was killed when he was shot from a cannon without a helmet. No one could be that desperate. Okay, and what happened to Captain Marley? What fate befell Captain Marley? I ambushed him while he was racing in the America's Cup. I boarded his ship and decided to let him determine his own fate. He could grant me his blessing to have his granddaughter's hand in marriage, or he could suffer a death more horrible than any of his crewmates. Well, what'd he say? Actually, he said quite a few things. Oh, the pain. Stop it, you're killing me. <laughs> Some other things, I forget them all. <laughs> I left him for dead and sent his ship into a whirlpool not even the most accomplished captain could escape. You're unbelievably ghastly and wretched. Ooh, hey. <laughs> okay, um, well, please, please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Why shouldn't I? If you kill me... Uh... There'll be no more Monkey Island sequels. No sequels means no work for you. You'll become just another has-been that nobody's heard of. Oh, that could never happen to me. I'm LeChuck. Do you know the name Bobbin Threadbare? Uh, no. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Pretty, Pretty please, please don't, don't kill, kill me? me? Why shouldn't I? If you kill me... Oh, we'll go through all these. You'll crush the hopes of children all over the world. I'm a hero to millions. It doesn't matter. All that matters is that Elaine and I are together. And you are out of the picture for good. Um... Pretty please, don't kill me. Why shouldn't I? If you kill me... You'll be in really big trouble. I'm one of the walking dead. Formed not of flesh and blood, but of fire and brimstone. How could I be in any more trouble? Yeah, well... <laughs> Pretty please, don't kill me. Why shouldn't I? If you kill me, you'll ruin our reputation for making family-oriented games. We'll be scorned by parent watchdog groups everywhere. What'll you threaten me with next? Some ludicrous Senate subcommittee investigating violence <laughs> in the media. <laughs> well, oh, it's so meta. Now. Oh, it makes me sad. Oh, wow. 
Elaine will never marry you. She loves me. She does not. She loves me. Nuh-uh. She loves me. Does not. Anyway, Elaine really loves me. Does not. Does two love me? Does not. Does two infinity? Does. Uh, <laughs> curse you and your diabolical debate skills. Oh, look, Chuck. Uh, okay. I'm still confused about Is there about anything the else you can tell me about then the carnival? Then ask me. As designer and founder, I can answer all your questions. I think I asked everything here, right? Uh. Oh, maybe not. How did you build an amusement park on a deserted island? The process begins with a winning design team. I scoured the Caribbean, looking for the best and brightest artists, engineers, and creative people. After a lengthy period of intensive recruitment, intimidation, <laughs> and murder, I had my team at work, slashing and burning acres of old growth timberland on monkey and dinky islands. That must have been back-breaking work. Aye, that it was. Fortunately, hundreds of men were lost to malaria, wild animals, or construction accidents. <laughs> what kind of attractions do you have? Here at Big Whoop, we pride ourselves on the variety and authenticity of our attractions. We be using a magical blend of art technology and indentured servitude that we like to call Dynamo Monk Electrics. Frighteningly realistic skins and other body parts are attached to a framework of gears, servos, and pulleys, all constructed from a remarkably lightweight composite material. Fascinating. How do you power all the rides? That be a good question. As you may already know, the power of Big Whoop be derived from its position as an infernal nexus, binding our world with the unholy manifestation of evil itself. Well, of course. But like all fuel sources, it can't be lasting forever. That's why it be our job to conserve its demonic power wherever possible <clears throat> and look to alternative power sources. Uh, solar? solar? No, we tap our greatest natural resource, monkeys. My word. <laughs> Hordes of ruthlessly trained monkeys are hidden away deep within the bowels of the park, bound to immense machines of destruction and family entertainment. That's so inhumane. Ooh, I'm glad you noticed. It be the little touches that make the difference. <laughs> Mark my words, LeChuck. When I finally defeat you, I'll be sure to set them all free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's in the future for Big Whoop theme parks? The future is ripe with a world of possibilities. I see an entire network of theme parks throughout the world. Each will be unique and incorporate the cultures and customs of its specific area. But all will hold true to the same vision of the original park. A random, wholesale slaughter of the thousands of patrons who walk through our gates. I thought the treasure of Big Whoop was on Dinky Island. Dinky Island be an atoll just off the coast of Monkey Island. But they be connected by a maze of mysterious tunnels that run under the very ocean floor. Oh, that explains so it. So although you dug for treasure on Dinky, when you found me carnival, you were on Monkey Island. <laughs> very tidy explanation. Aye. <laughs> I've heard quite enough about your disgusting theme park. But there be so many more horrible things I'd be wanting to tell you. I'm not listening to you anymore. See, I'm ignoring you. Ah, you'd better listen. <laughs> la 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 la, I can't hear you. La 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 la. Very well, Freepwood. If you're going to act like a child, I'll help you get in the mood. I think you deserve a timeout, young man. I regret nothing. 
Uh, we can still click on stuff, apparently. It's the solid steel six-inch thick door to this insidious cage. Can I open it? <laughs> it's not locked. Your plan was flawless, LeChuck, except for one minor detail. That will be your downfall. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> He's taking Elaine on his roller coaster of death. I gotta reach her before she becomes his undead bride. What's happened to me? Head foggy. Can't think. Mind swimming. Must concentrate and rescue Elaine. I've got to save Elaine. But how can I save Elaine when I'm just a little boy? If only I could think straight. Must. Clear my mind. <laughs> Welcome to the Big Whoop Carnival, little guy. Come on over here and meet your old pal, Dingy Dog. Oh, for crying out loud. Hmm. All right. So his head, Guybrush's head is really foggy. We do know of a cure, though, to help with that. It doesn't look like we have anything we can use, though. Hmm. Let's see if we can figure this out. We're still going to need an egg... A pepper and some hair of the dog that bit you. What's over this way? Oh. Uh. Nope. <laughs> that ride's just for bigger kids. Okay, guess I can't go that way. Oh, snow cones. Hello, sir. What kind of snow cones do you have? <laughs> What kind of cones did you ask? Why, I have every kind imaginable. I have the most distinct type of snow cones in the world. In fact, my cones are so original, so inventive, and so <laughs> unique that most are completely inedible. Let me list some for you. I have sweet cones, meat cones, cold cones, mold cones, bold cones with lime, cones with slime. <laughs> Veggie cones, wedgie cones, hedgy cones. I used some of my neighbor's edge in that one. Cones with spice, cones with lice, berry cones, hairy cones, dairy cones, and the Christmas, oh, 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 merry cone. So, what do you think of that? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I'd like a plain one, please. I'd like a plain snow cone, please. Okay, kid. Bye now. Okay, so we've got just a regular plain snow cone. It's nothing but ice. Oh, a pepper mill. Can I take this? Oh, okay. So we got pepper. Oops, my snow cone melted. Oh, okay. I'll have to just... I'll have to get that later. Oh, hey, it's Murray! Hey, Murray, what are you doing here? Yo, Murray. Hey, it's you! Are you dead yet? You look different. Not dead, Murray. Just cursed. Cursed! That's perfect! I'm cursed too! Let's join our cursed forces together, and together we can rule the world! <laughs> yeah. Let me get back to you on that. Hmm. Okay. What's going on this way? Ooh. Monty Mar Monty Marine? He's a mime. He doesn't talk. Oh, he doesn't talk. Okay. War for a hat. you. Yeah, kid, what is it? Uh. What are you guys doing here? It's blow the man down, the most fun in the midway. Hit the funny clown and win a fantastic prize. Watch the pies fly from the cannon with blinding speed and loud reports. And if your aim is true, go home with your winnings. Join in the laughs with your happy sailor host, Warfred, and his pal, Monty Morang. What flavor? What? What flavor are the pies today? I don't know. Lemon meringue, I think. What kind of a stupid question is that? Meringue, huh? Meringue is actually made from eggs, so that would be helpful. Uh... I want to shoot the cannon. I want to shoot the cannon. Sorry, little boy. You're too young. Blow the man down is for older kids. Oh. That's discrimination. How do I know it really works if I can't see it go off? 
Okay, kid, you want to see the cannon fire? Here we go. Oh, that looks fun. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll come Never back mind. to that. We're going to need to get one of those pies. And we need to get some hair. Hmm. Let's talk to Dingy Dog here. Are you the real Dingy Dog? <laughs> you bet I am. And I'm here to make sure you have fun, fun, fun. What's your name, little boy? Okay. For starters, I'm not a little boy. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate. Well, shiver me timbers. That's well. Don't you patronize me. Well, <laughs> sounds like you've learned a very big word. You're a very bright little man. <laughs> That's well. <laughs> Laugh while you can. Soon I'll destroy LeChuck and your entire world will lie in ruin. You bet. Roll along and play now, son. <laughs> Uh, let's see. How can I win one of these fabulous prizes? Well, that's easy, <laughs> matey. If I can't guess your weight or your age, you get to pick what you want. What's the catch? <laughs> There's no catch. It's just that easy. Okay, but you can't guess how old I, I am. Bet you can't guess how old I am. <laughs> bet you I can. A little fearsome buccaneer like yourself must be seven years old. Ha! Wrong. I just so happen to be 20. <laughs> well, do you have any proof for your old pal Dingy Dog? You calling me a liar? <laughs> you bet I am. <laughs> I have my proof right here. Scum Actors Guild membership card. <clears throat> Guybrush Threepwood, age 20? I suppose you're right. <laughs> pick your prize. Ooh, I get to pick a prize. I want that talking skull. I really want that talking skull. <laughs> With my unfettered demonic might, we will rule the world. Mm, you're right, Murray. If I had all that power, the temptation for evil would be too great. I'll take the anchor. Mm, okay. I'll take it away, son. Congratulations. <laughs> Enjoy your stay here at Big Wolf. Okay, well, he decided he wants the anchor, so I guess I'm taking the anchor. Look into your heart. I'm the prize you really want. What? You picked the anchor? It's a really nice anchor, Murray. Sorry. Hmm. I can't believe you picked that stupid you know. anchor instead of me. So let's put this now anchor in the pan. pan. Okay, it's a heavy pie pan now. What good is a dumb hunk of iron? Now I've got a heavy pie pan full of shaving cream. Ooh, looks like we just made a fake pie. It's not even a real anchor. Let's just slip this here. What are you doing over there? I found this pie, mister. Huh? Oh, yeah, thanks, kid. Shoot it, shoot it. Not right now. Oh, but I want to see the cannon fire. Beat cheeks, half pint. Look, man, I pay your salary. You want me to tell the check you've got unhappy kids running around here? Okay, <laughs> okay, you little. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just hear something? No. Weird. Maybe it's the acoustics of that smelly giant head. Shut up, kid. Well, that seemed to work. Let's, uh... Can I open this I'm gate? I'm a real talking skull. Hey, cool. After Let's all, we've got this hole. Together. Fine. Take the stupid egg. Yoo-hoo. Stinky Mr. Rat. Hey, get out of there, you little punk. What are you going to do about it, vermin boy? This'll teach you. Hey, thanks. All right, lemon meringue. So, let's see. You would have made a lousy undead monster anyway. We got two parts of our puzzle. Just need one more. I'm going to wait for Anona, hmm. who understands my need to bring fear and pestilence on the likes of you. <laughs> now that's not very nice, little boy. Ooh, that's fun. Come on, now stop hitting your pal dingy dog. Get out of here before I call up the... I'm not going to warn you again, kid. <laughs> <laughs> you better cut that out. Yeah, you're really starting to bug me, kid. If you value your life, mere mortal. All right. 
<laughs> that does it. You're going down, little punk. Oh. <laughs> Ow, he bit me. Hey, give me back that hair, kid. You're ruining the suit. Well, that ain't my problem. All right, we got <laughs> Tiki Talk here. All right, so we just need another snow cone. I'll take that old snow cone for you. <laughs> Thanks. I'd like a plain snow cone, please. Okay, kid. <laughs> Bye now. Okay, let's make our concoction here. That meringue looks tasty. Uh, whoops. Mmm, peppery goodness. Ooh, uh, hairy. Okay. Helps though. Ah, brain freeze. Ooh, there we go. All right, part six. Guybrush kicks butt once again. Too late for me to get out. Oh, whoops. Okay. Dynamo. It's Rap Scallion, the forgetful Weenie Hut restaurateur. Oh, that's supposed it's to be Captain, Captain Marley. Marley, Elaine's grandfather. Okay, and this is Rum Rogers. It's Rum Rogers Sr. as he appeared in life. It's the cabin boy, young Lindy. Hmm, okay. Oh, can I pick up one of these? Oh, okay. Get in. There we go. Oh, so this is the scene from uh, the other game. Well, I'm glad to see that I'm featured among the attractions here. It's very lifelike. Well, I mean, deathlike. It's a Dynamo Monk electric Wally. He gad, he looks so lifelike. Hey, wait a minute. He really is Wally. Uh, Wally, what are you doing here? Uh oh. Have you seen Elaine? She told me she was just going to powder her nose, and I haven't seen her since. I can't even believe it. I fell for that one again. Now stand still, boy, so I can flame Broy. <laughs> uh... Oh. Yow. Wow. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna need to come back here, but no, we're not ready for that yet. Okay, I think I need this rope. Oh yeah, this is uh, that scene from the first game. It's a mechanical Herman tooth rod. All right, let me take this rope. That's Herman, and then there's the three-headed monkey. I had a feeling he'd turn up sooner or later. It's a sturdy piece of rope. All right, back in. <laughs> okay, we got what we need here. Uh. Hmm. Can I open this lantern? Hey, oil! Okay, I think I need to blow it out first. Yep, and then we take the flask of oil. Wally, what are you even doing here? You can count on me, Wally. Just as soon as I defeat LeChuck, save a lane, set all the monkeys free, and ride the madly rotating buccaneer, I'll come back and release you. Uh, okay, sorry, Wally. I guess I can't help you. Uh, let's see. We need to prepare a trap. I think I need to... Oh, shoot. Oh, okay. In we go. Okay. We need to go out here. Let's prepare this trap. Let's use this oil with this there. rope. It's soaked in oil and probably... Cool. Okay, we've got a bomb. We made a rum bomb. Let's use this with the giant snow. Oh. oh Chuck. Ah, you again. If you've ridden me, Coaster, why haven't you been boiled in me molten pool of lava? Hmm. 
Elaine must have fiddled with me controls and rerouted the tracks. I she'll be the death of me yet. I mean, again. <laughs> but curse as if I can't help but love the little woman. Eat, flame, and death, great word. Uh, no, you? No, guess I can't yet. Darn. Gonna have to come back around. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I can't examine any of these unless I get out. But I don't need to. I've already got everything I need. <laughs> Sorry, Wally. Hang in there. <laughs> okay, let's get out here. Alright, let's get this right this time. Place this up here. we go. Alright, yeah, I don't have any... How do I still have all this stuff? I'd rather keep these pie bits for a better time. Okay, well... I don't think there's anything else I can do here. I don't have anything I can set it on fire with. Fortunately, LeChuck is all fire himself, so... I suppose I'm just gonna have to wait. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I need to wait for him. Pick up. Mm, no. <laughs> it's a piece of rope soaked in lamp oil. No, well, it's definitely flammable. Um, just nothing I can really set it on fire Maybe with. Later. <laughs> Let's use the magic wand. The magic wand has no effect on that. Yeah, too bad. All right, guess we just gotta wait for LeChuck. Oh, here he comes. It's LeChuck. I Freakwood. It be me, your worst nightmare. You'll be sorry you ever set foot here on Monkey Island when I'm through with you. Oh, boy. Darn. Ouch. Okay. No, nope, I'm missing Ow. something. Oh, what was it that I'm missing? Um... Oh, I remember. I remember what I forgot. I need to redirect LeChuck's flames to uh, to that rope. How's it hanging, Wally? Just hang in there. <laughs> okay, we'll get it right this time. Just need to wait for LeChuck to come around. It's every sailor's worst nightmare, the giant snowy ape. <laughs> okay. Come down here. Oh, no, don't do that. Oh, I missed it. I okay. missed that car. Good. Just here we go. I'll be chasing around this roller coaster till you be my undead slave, Freepwood. Not gonna happen, LeChuck. Taste pepper. There you go. Have a nice day. We did it! 
and they got married. <laughs> they took the sea cucumber and we left. Brush and Elaine are off on their honeymoon. Run, mortal, but do not forget your arch nemesis, Murray. Mark my words, I shall return to haunt you. Do you hear me? I shall return. <laughs> All right, Murray. That's it. That's the curse of Monkey this Island. Is so unfair. Oh, it's a fantastic game. Great, an great uh, animation for its time. So much fun. Gary Coleman? Really? Was Kenny Falmouth? these uh these credits play out
Special thanks to Ron Gilbert. Disney, sell Monkey Island back to Ron Gilbert. Give it back. We want more of these. Give free Monkey Island. This carnival is great, Dad. It sure is, son. But you know, rumor has it that the man who built this place is buried here. And they say that to this day, his frozen body remains in the tunnels somewhere beneath the amusement park. The end, question mark? Oh, wow, it just totally crashed to desktop. Like, when the game ended, it it, it didn't even go back to ScumVM, it just quit. <laughs> All right, well, enjoy this black screen as I say my goodbyes, folks. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. I love Curse. Uh, coming up soon is Escape from Monkey Island, and which I think might be my favorite. Uh, so I'm I'm very I'm looking very forward to that. Hope you guys are too. I think I can force that game into widescreen, so we'll see. Um, probably going to be another game in between that and Escape, and then another one between that and Tales. So you'll have to keep watching to find out. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check out officialytr.com slash forums for more fun. And check me out at twitch.tv slash channel. And until our next adventure, I've been CDROM 1019 you've been you, and you have been awesome. Take care, folks. Bye-bye!